Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to discuss the letter writing. Very important for SBI CBO exam, SBI CBO 2023 exam. Okay. And today we are focusing on the format. So I have seen this once again that students do not uh, follow the proper format. They don't write the proper format in their letter hai, and they end up getting very bad marks for the letter writing. It is very easy to get good marks in letter writing. Although it may be kind of difficult in getting good marks in essay writing because you need to give your ideas in the essay writing. Ideas generate karne hote hain, proper flow mein ideas likhne hote hain. Yahan pe letter writing mein it is very easy. One problem is given, uh, I mean for example generally a complaint wali uh, letter aati aati hai, you need to write a complaint. If you know the exact format, uh, format ke hesaab se likho ge, you, will, you are going to get really good marks here, okay. So students, my name is Ramandeep Singh. I've been teaching on bank exams today from last uh, 12 years now. This is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts. Okay. Let's start the session. Uh, first of all, purpose kya hai letter ka? Pehli baat ho. What is the purpose of, uh, you know, letter writing? Even though aaj ki date name, uh, very few people are, uh, you know, sending letters. Uh, but there, there is emails. I mean, even in the emails, you need to write. Okay. So, uh, what is the purpose? Uh, letter communicate, uh, letter bridges the communication gap. It create awareness. It inform or provoke a thought in the receiver's ma mass. A well written letter is a good way to express one's feelings. A heartfelt letter acts as a personal memoir. Okay. So basically, kya hai ki, uh, there are two types of letters. Informal letters and the formal letters. Informal letters the letters that you are sending to your loved ones to your loved ones uh, who are the loved ones your father mother husband wife friend right if you are sending letter to your informal people right uh, that's an informal letter there's a different format to write the informal informal letter but there is a formal letter as well suppose uh, some excessive charges has been deducted from your savings account and you want to file a complaint uh, with a branch manager that would be a formal letter okay so personal letters usually written to family friends relatives neighbors acquaintances okay uh, there can be a general reason Uska koi reason bhi ho sakta hai that you are writing the letter or you can just writing it just to you know uh, uh, it can be without any reason as well i mean uh, either you are congratulating somebody or condolence, sympathy, thank you letters can be there, social invitations can be there, apology letters or I mean there are certain informal letters in, in which there are uh, there is nothing I mean uh, exactly you suppose uh, you move from Ludhiana to Delhi and you are writing a letter to your friend telling him that I'm okay. We ask we such purpose but that's a kind of letter that's an informal letter. In the formal letter, formal letter, it has a purpose. It always has a purpose. You want to discuss a business, apply for the service, make a request, filing a complaint. These are the most common types of letters. Uh, formal letter and filing a complaint is the most common letter, kind of letter in the exam. Yes, sabse common hai. Har bar yehi aata hai, right? So, um, we are going to discuss that. The format of the letter. First of all, it starts with the sender's address. So whoever is writing the letter, he is going to write his own address, right? Send, uh, sender's address is the mailing address of the sender. Uh, so it's, it is an essential part of both formal and informal letters. Because see, whenever you write a letter uh, on the envelope, you write your, uh, your address as well in case uh, it does not reach the destination, it comes back to you. Yes, sabko pata hai, sender's address, okay? Uh, so you write your name, building apartment, city and always write your PIN, always write your PIN code, okay. So uh, the manager, uh, uh, whatever the company name is, address followed by the city, uh, PIN and then in case of formal letter, reference numbers hote hain formal letter mein, generally in case of informal letter, reference number nahi hote hain, theek hai. So this is a common format to write the address in case of informal letter. That's how you are going to write the address in case of formal letters. That's how you're going to write the address. Okay, uh, that's how you are going to start the letter. Okay, please note that formal and the informal. Uh, 
जनरली यू राइट द डेट आफ्टर गिविंग अ स्पेस आप एक डेट लिख सकते हो राइट इफ़ यू नीड द फॉर्मैट इन द पी डी एफ फॉर्मैट पी डी एफ फॉर्मैट में आपको चाहिए लिंक वुड बी अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन डोंट वरी क्लिक द लिंक एंड डाउनलोड द फ्री पी डी एफ एंड द पी डी एफ इज फ्री डेट लिखोगे आप इसमें से किसी भी फॉर्मैट में आप लिख सकते हो गुड इनाफ ओके ऐसे ही लिखिए मेक श्योर ओके रिसीवर्स एड्रेस यू नीड टू राइट द रिसीवर्स एड्रेस रिसीवर्स एड्रेस इज अ कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग एड्रेस यू आर ऑलरेडी आई गेस राइटिंग हेयर ओके दैट्स हाउ यू राइट इट यू राइट द द मैनेजर ए बी सी इफ यू डोंट नो द नेम जस्ट राइट द आई मीन इफ यू सेंडिंग इन टू द मैनेजर द मैनेजर ए बी सी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड और वॉट एवर जिसको भी आप भेज रहे हैं उसका नाम लिखिए राइट द मैनेजर इको टेक प्राइवेट लिमिटेड पीतमपुरा नेम ऑफ द ऑफिशियल प्रोफेशनल टाइटल इफ यू डू नॉट नो द नेम राइट द प्रोफेशनल टाइटल जनरली इन फॉर्मल लेटर में नाम नहीं लिखा होगा यू नीड टू राइट द प्रोफेशनल टाइटल द मैनेजर इन केस यू आर राइटिंग अ लेटर टू द टू अ ब्रांच मैनेजर जस्ट राइट द ब्रांच मैनेजर ओके वॉट एवर ब्रांच इट इज जस्ट राइट इट डाउन फॉलोड बाय एड्रेस फॉलोड बाय सिटी पिन इंडिया ओके प्लीज नोट दैट फॉर्मैट ये फॉर्मैट का आप स्क्रीन शॉट ले सकते हो दिस इज फॉर द फॉर्मल दिस इज फॉर द इनफॉर्मल लेटर स्क्रीन शॉट ले लीजिए यू कैन डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ प्लीज फॉलो द फॉर्मैट यू मे और मे नॉट राइट द रेफरेंस नंबर इट इज ऑप्शनल इट इज ऑप्शनल रेफरेंस नंबर लिखना ऑप्शनल है सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट डिटरमाइन द पर्पज ऑफ राइटिंग इन ब्रीफ ऑलवेज राइट द सब्जेक्ट इन द लेटर many students they do not write the subject but it is essential to write the subject it helps the recipient to deal with the with the letter successfully and quickly if you are writing that uh, the subject i mean uh, he can just scan the letter quickly maybe the receiver is getting like 20 letters a day and he has just 20 30 minutes to all do all that stuff all that uh, jitna read karna uske paas itna hi time hai do not waste his time Especially the formal letter, it is very important to write the subject in both formal and informal letters. Okay, informal me I won't say optional. फिर कोई भी नहीं लिखेगा but it's essential. Please always write the subject and the subject it should be in the brief. Make sure you write the subject in one line. In one line में आप subject लिखते हो and it is the why you are writing the letter. उसका purpose बता रहा है subject line. Okay. not more than 10 word it should be clear and it should not be more than uh, 10 words if you are making a complaint usme hi one line mein just tell uh, the receiver that this is a complaint letter uh, if you are asking for another checkbook just tell uh, the receiver in the subject that this mail is regarding request uh, regarding a request to you know to issue of a new checkbook to usme aap likhiye subject mein hi aapne likhna hai salutation is a customary greeting so you need to greet uh, dear either you need to add the uh, word dear dear sir dear madam the salutation is a customary greeting it varies uh, it depends upon the relationship between the sender and the receiver and it usually begins with the word dear usually dear se start hota hai dear sir dear madam uh, dear sir dear madam aise aap likh sakte ho in case of the gender uh, and the name of the recipient is not known you must address the person as dear sir dear madam this is the most common method dear sir slash madam dear sir madam okay because you don't know the gender to aise aap salutation likh sakte ho theek hai and in case of an informal letter uh, dear grandma dear grandfather if you know the name dear rahul डियर ममा डी एफ पापा वॉट एवर इन केस ऑफ इनफॉर्मल लेटर्स यू कैन राइट ऑल दैट बट इन केस ऑफ द इन केस ऑफ फॉर्मल लेटर्स दैट्स हाउ यू आर सपोज टू राइट फॉर सर मैडम यू सी दिस इज द फॉर्म आर्ट फॉर इनफॉर्मल लेटर्स इन केस ऑफ ब्लड रिलेशन रिस्पेक्टेड old if somebody is older than you respected if somebody is younger than you my dear dear uh, for friends or relatives dear my dear okay so uh, dear aap likh sakte ho in case of informal letter dear whatever the name is dear priya dear rahul theek hai 
in case of formal letters, that's that's the format, okay. For editors, postmasters, post officer, government officials, uh, sir, madam, yeah, respected sir, respected madam, aise likhloge, that that would be great, okay. Uh, I always tell you ki this is the best, uh, I would say, salutation, respected sir, madam for formal letter, respected sir, madam, this, ये सब जगह चलेगा रिस्पेक्टेड सर मैडम ये सब जगह चलेगा और डियर वॉट एवर द नेम इज ये इनफॉर्मल लेटर में सब जगह चलेगा और फॉर्मल लेटर में रिस्पेक्टेड सर मैडम ये सेल्यूटेशन सब जगह चलेगा नो नीड टू रिमेंबर ऑल दैट ओके सो दिस वुड वर्क एवरी वेयर ओके बॉडी बॉडी इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट ऑफ द लेटर सो यू नीड टू इंट्रोड्यूस इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ ओके My name is Ramandeep Singh. I'm uh, and then exactly after that, uh, what is the purpose of writing that letter? Why why you are writing it? In case of a formal letter, it should be concise. What is the purpose? Then give the information. In give the in case suppose करिए आपने जो है let bank को letter देनी है आपने bank को letter देनी है to close your account uh, account closure. अकाउंट क्लोजर की आपने रिक्वेस्ट डालनी है माई नेम इज़ रमनदीप सिंह आई मीन आई हैव आई एम हैविंग अ करंट अकाउंट इन योर बैंक देन यू नीड टू गिव इंफॉर्मेशन योर करंट अकाउंट नंबर एंड वाई आर यू क्लोजिंग दैट अकाउंट दैट्स इट दैट्स इट ओके दिस इज द बॉडी रीजनिंग लिखना जरूरी है देन इंफॉर्मेशन देना जरूरी है इट इंक्लूड द मैसेज द सेंडर वॉन्ट्स टू कन्वे while the body of the personal letter can be long and detailed because you are giving you are showing your feelings experiences advices news informal letter can be long informal letter can be lengthy it can be 200 300 500 words chithe likh sakte ho aap that is up to you kyunki aap apne emotions bata rahe ho informal letters mein lekin formal letter mein aisa kuch nahi hai in the formal letter यू आर गेटिंग योर जॉब डन आपने अकाउंट बंद करवाना है टेल द मैनेजर दैट दिस इज माई अकाउंट दिस इज माई नेम दिस इज माई अकाउंट नंबर एंड आई वॉन्ट टू क्लोज माई अकाउंट बिकॉज आई एम मूविंग अब्रॉड आई हैव अटैच द द अनयूज चेक बुक एंड द पास बुक विद दिस लेटर प्लीज क्लोज अकाउंट एज सुन एज पॉसिबल जस्ट गेट योर रेफरेंस नंबर एंड मूव ऑन दैट्स ऑल ओके let's move forward uh, be sure <clears throat> concluding lines how to conclude your letter uh, for friends write with best regards best wishes for parents with love and respect i mean with best regard would work this would work for all the uh, casual or the informal letters for the informal letters with best regards or best wishes best regards with best regards would work everywhere okay for official letters for the formal letter thanking you or with best regards with best regards works uh, most of the times with best regards with best regards it works everywhere most uh, most of the places it works the concluding lines okay uh, complimentary closure you can give विद बेस्ट रिगार्ड्स पहले विद बेस्ट रिगार्ड्स अब लिखना है विद बेस्ट रिगार्ड्स एंड देन योर सिंसियरली और योर अफेक्शनेटली यू कैन राइट दैट ओके योर सिंसियरली और यू आर अफेक्शनेटली इन केस ऑफ कैजुअल लेटर्स यू कैन राइट दैट इन केस ऑफ फॉर्मल लेटर्स यू आर ओबीडियंटली योर फेथफुल यू नीड टू राइट ओके फॉर इन फॉर्मल लेटर्स योर सिंसियरली ये सही रहेगा योर सिंसियरली और योर योर लविंग That's the best one. You are sincerely for the informal letters. Uh, in case you are writing to your principal, who is an authority over you, uh, write your obediently. But your faithfully would work everywhere. Up yours faithfully. He likhe your faithfully. In case of formal letter, informal me your sincerely likhe. Formal me your faithfully likhe. Right. Then give a space and then make your signature. Uh, write your name. No need to write your fancy signatures. Okay, and that's I guess all. This is the format for a informal letter. Okay, uh, and I guess uh, that's all for today, students. Ah, uh, there is a proper PDF, students. 
PDF of today's lecture is available. A uh, link is available in the description. Please check. Uh, you can join the SBI CBO 2023 course in which we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, live sessions, and interview preparation course. Uh, list of our successful students, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. So thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.